Sumbu Zehra from Sir Sayed Government Girls College. I am going to start with the introductory classes scheduled by Directorate Colleges and I am going to deliver the first introductory lecture of first year physics. First year physics is uh, has 10 chapters and it is mainly divided into three sections. Section A has seven chapters from the branch of physics mechanics. Chapter Section B has one chapter, Waves and Sound, that is chapter number 8 from the book. And section C has two chapters on light, which are chapter number 9 and 10. So first, we will start, what is physics? There are a lot of events around us that take place, and if we observe them closely, we find that they are introducing a new world the world of physics to us. These events are those that we do, see or we experience in this beautiful planet Earth. At some point our curiosity stops us to look and observe these events closely and ask such questions like what's going on or how does that happen? And the answer to all these questions is physics. So if we typically describe physics, we can say that physics is that branch of science which deals with these events that we see as well as unseen and all these events are related to matter, energy and their interaction. So now do, how do matter and energy interact? and move along is the query of physics to be solved. How can we measure these interactions and this question is answered through SI units. So the first thing we will discuss today is measurements. In the term SI units, SI stands for International System of Units. There are seven basic SI units for things such as length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, luminous intensity and amount of substance. And all these seven physical quantities have seven basic SI units and their symbols are also mentioned here. Of course, there are lot more units than these seven basic units and therefore they are called as derived units which come back from these basic units. The derived units are number one area which is length into breadth that is area equals to meter square. Number two, number two volume that is length into breadth into height which is meter cube density which is mass per unit volume that is kilogram per meter cube then velocity which is distance per time that is meter per second acceleration that is velocity per time that is meter per second square force that is mass into acceleration which is kilogram meter per second square or we can say its unit is Newton. Momentum which is mass into velocity that is kilogram meter per second or Newton second. Work that is force into displacement equals to newton meter or simply joules and the last one is power that is work done per unit time that is joules per second or watt so there are also more uh, derived units physical quantities whose un drive units can be made uh, which we are going through in the book of physics later and we come across uh, 
there are a lot of more drive units in physics which we will study later on these physical quantities explained today have to be studied via dimensions so what is dimension a dimension is a measurement such as length width or height if you talk about the dimensions of an object or place you are referring to its size and proportions so now we are calculating the dimensions of physical quantities like area which is length into breadth so length has a dimension l and breadth has also dimension l so area has a dimension of l square then volume which is equal to length into breadth into height so length has a dimension l breadth has a dimension l and height has a dimension l so volume has a dimension l cube now density which is mass per unit volume which has a dimension capital m your mass per unit l cube velocity which is distance per unit time its dimension is l by t acceleration which is volume per unit time that is l by t square force which is mass into acceleration that is m into l by t square its its dimension is ml by t square momentum which is mass into velocity that is m l by t work which is force into displacement that is ml by t square kinetic energy likewise potential energy that's all for today thank you so much